Welcome to Speak English Now podcast with your host, Georgiana. The podcast that will help you to speak English fluently with no grammar and no textbooks. Hello, everybody. I am Georgiana, your English teacher and founder of SpeakEnglishPodcast.com. My mission is to help you to speak English fluently. Two weeks ago, we started with a series of vocabulary differences between American and British English. Today, we will continue this series, although we'll focus on food vocabulary differences. And with a point of view story, you're going to compare the different grammar points. It's the perfect way to learn grammar and new vocabulary without memorizing. Okay, let's start. Maybe you aren't familiar with this word. It's a long, thin vegetable with dark green skin. It looks similar to a cucumber, but it's larger and we don't eat it in a salad. Yes, I'm talking about a vegetable called zucchini. I love zucchini noodles and zucchini soup. You should try that out because it's simply delicious. In the United Kingdom, People use the word courgette, which comes from French. So in American, we say zucchini. And in British, courgette. I'm sure you know the meaning of the following word. I'm talking about the word cookie. Everybody loves chocolate cookies. But do you know the meaning of the word biscuit? That's right. Biscuit has the same meaning as cookie though it's used in the UK. So in American, we say cookie, and in British, biscuit. Let's continue. There's a purple vegetable similar to an egg. Can you guess? Exactly, an eggplant. What do you think? Personally, I don't think eggplants look like an egg. In British, it's called aubergine. It sounds funny because it's also a word that comes from French. So in American, we say eggplant, and in British, aubergine. Let's continue. Have you ever heard of jacket potatoes? No, it's not a potato wearing a jacket. In American English, we call them baked potatoes. But in British, it's called jacket potato. Therefore, Baked or jacket potatoes are usually well cooked, so they have a full interior and a crisp skin. Americans say baked potatoes and British jacket potato. Let's continue. And even though I love baked potatoes, I also eat fries from time to time. Do you know how they call them in the UK? Yep, in the United Kingdom. They're called chips. So in American, we say French fries or just fries. And in British, chips. Let's see if you can guess this one. It's one of the most popular plants in the States. It's a tall vegetable with yellow and white seeds. We often cook the seeds or make them into flour or feed them to animals. Yes. The correct word is corn or maize. The word maize is used in the UK. So in American, we say corn and in British, maize. Let's continue. Try guessing the next word. It's also straightforward. Think of a sweet food made of sugar or chocolate. That's right. Candy. In the UK, They call them sweets. Candies come in all shapes and textures. They are made using sugar, chocolate, artificial or natural sweeteners. Sometimes we use sweeteners instead of sugar because they have fewer calories. Remember, in American we say candy and in British sweets. Let's continue. And how about something sweet and icy? Ice cream would be the perfect guess here, though in this case, I was thinking about a popsicle. A popsicle is a refreshing dessert 
that is often made out of frozen fruit juice. I love preparing my own ice cream at home, but I prefer sherbet instead of popsicles. A sherbet is a ice cream made of fruit. I buy the frozen fruits like strawberries or raspberries, and then I mix them with yogurt. You have to try this. It's delicious, refreshing, and very healthy. In British English, they call it ice lolly. In American, we say popsicle, and in British, ice lolly. The last word is also a delicious dessert. It's very popular nowadays, and almost anyone can prepare it. I was talking about a cupcake. A cupcake is very similar to a muffin, but it's always sweet and often covered with frosting. Muffins, on the other hand, are generally considered healthier than cupcakes. They are usually made of whole wheat flour and loaded with fruit. I prefer muffins over cupcakes because I find them healthier. In British English, they are called fairy cake. So in American, we use cupcake, and in British, fairy cake. Okay, let's continue with a point of view story. This kind of story will help you to improve your English grammar. It's very simple. I tell you the same story more than once. Every time I change a grammatical aspect, so you can see how grammar changes and you can compare. You just have to listen. Let's start. Let's listen the story from Jack's point of view in the past tense. When I was eight, my mom threw me a birthday party and invited my friends. She was very worried about what I ate, so she prepared a healthy meal for the party as well. We kids love to eat fries and all kinds of unhealthy snacks, but instead, my mom made a dish of baked potatoes with eggplants and zucchini. I asked her the day before to bake some cupcakes or some cookies, although. She figured it would be better if my friends and I ate some blueberry muffins instead. And yes, the party was a disaster. I became upset because my friends wanted to leave. Fortunately, my mother was always resourceful, so she had made some orange popsicles. Everyone loves her orange popsicles. I don't know why exactly. Apparently, she makes them with freshly squeezed organic oranges. Okay, let's listen to the story from Jack's mother's point of view. When my son Jack was eight, I threw him a birthday party and invited his friends. I was very worried about what he ate, so I prepared a healthy meal for the party as well. Kids love to eat fries and all kinds of unhealthy snacks, but instead, I've made a dish of baked potatoes with eggplants and zucchini. My son asked me the day before to bake some cupcakes or some cookies, although I figured it would be better if he and his friends ate some blueberry muffins instead. And yes, the party was a disaster. My son was upset because his friends wanted to leave. Fortunately, I'm a resourceful mother, so I made some orange popsicles. Everyone loves my orange popsicles. Do you know why? I make them with freshly squeezed organic oranges. All right, it's the end of this point of view story. I use this successful method in my courses. Imagine a whole story told this way. Instead of having to memorize boring grammar rules, you can use this method to learn grammar. It's more enjoyable, but also more effective. Now you can improve your speaking and grammar with my enchanted course only by listening. Go to enchantedcourse.com and bring your English to an advanced level. Well, 
That's it for today. Please help me to spread the word about the podcast. Tell your friends about the show and leave a comment on iTunes when you have a minute. That would make me very happy. I'll be back next week. Take care. Bye bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com. Speakenglishpodcast.com.